Good morning, everybody. I pray everybody is well. I pray everybody is getting over whatever they might have been under, okay? Um, whether it was under the weather, whether you just had the blues, whether you just um, weren't yourself, I pray that you are getting over that. Um, I came to you this morning just to encourage you. Um, not always will you feel like doing what is necessary. Not always will you feel like doing what you've been called to do. Um, my prayers, God always keep me with that feeling that I always want to do it. Um, but for those days when I don't feel like I want to do it, for those days where I don't feel like I want to do what I was called to do, I'm going to be honest with y'all because y'all act like everybody always feel like walking in purpose. Sometimes that's hard. Um, I just want you to know that God is with you. Um, and it's not even about you, right? Our purpose is generally connected to other people, other things, other um, opportunities, other blessings, other transitions, um, other people coming out. So remember um, that your purpose is not always so personal. What I know is my purpose is connected to my children, um, their generational blessings, their generational curse breaking and chain breaking. Um, so I don't have a choice. I'm going to go do exactly what God said I should do. I'm going to go do exactly what he called me to do. And I pray that you guys remember that as well. Somebody is waiting on you to be successful. Somebody is waiting on you to come out. Somebody is waiting on you to defeat whatever demon you're fighting because they fight in the same one. And they just don't know what to do. We still overcome by the blood of the lamb and our word of our testimony. Testimony. But in order for you to have a testimony, you got to make it through the test. Um, and sometimes when our purpose is pushed, um, sometimes when our purpose is harder than we thought it was going to be, we don't really want to do it, but we don't get that option. When God calls you to do something, says he'll give you the strength and the power to do it. We just have to pull on him. Um, in our weakness, he's made strong. So when you feel weak and you feel like you can't do it and you're vulnerable, call on G. In those moments where you feel like you're not making it, in those moments feel like you have nothing left to draw from my pastor said yesterday we get strength we get joy from um, a living well and sometimes we need to just draw from that well and other times we need to completely submerge ourselves in that and in Sunday school yesterday sister Gloria was talking about um our first works getting back to our praying our fasting our getting in our word so sometimes we've not done that and that's why we ain't got no strength we ain't got no power so sometimes we need to do that I was going to leave y'all with what I just said before, but then God said that. So I'm going to tell y'all that. Um, but y'all continue to stay blessed. Y'all continue to do y'all best. Y'all keep me lifted up in prayer. I'm going to be praying for y'all. Peace.